Scott's point of view right now. As we go, Dweebs and Flopper, Boomer. And Boomer already on the hill for the Minnesota Flopper as Magic Mott draws the first blood. Mott over at the fountain at P2. Artie trying to get a table at that restaurant and just not able to at all. But the Dweebs are holding onto the hill with a 13 to, 4, 13 to 3 lead as Ty tries to make way over to P2. Gets mowed down, trying to get a little preset, but low lord coming up. Boom, there we go. Now it's all Minnesota's hill. Artie with a nade, with a hello there. The hello there connect. Artie gonna go ahead and work his way around over to that P2 side. 23 11 in favor of the LA Dweebs. As in a mag over at, was over at P2 Fountain, got mowed down as we kick off into this P2 31 to 11 good. LA Dweebs. Oh, and we got this beautiful magenta purple right now sporting that flopper. I love it. I think we need a team with these colors in the league. But either way, as the Purple Hill is purple, they are getting some points back into this. We've seen that first hill kind of dominated by the dweebs. But, I mean, it is the first hill of the game, a little tough to hold. But the second one, a little easier if you're able to get these early kills. And right now, they're trading them back and forth at an alarming rate right now. It's Fluffy with the pistol doing a great job with support of Artie. They're going to clean up all these kills as these dweebs have really came in and made this P2 hill their home. 30 seconds left to grab. It's a multi-kill for Artie. We'd love to see it as a couple of these magenta arrows are starting to position towards over to that next side. They're going to be focused on P3 now that they've kind of gotten broken. But if you look at this, it's been kind of a, you know, this that gives us a lot of kills early, Coffee, so I'm always a fan. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. 56 to uh, 29 in favor of the dweebs as my was looking left and right over at that P3 hill, and he got mowed down real quick in a mag, working his way through the restaurant at P1. Tossing a hello there. It did it connected, but so did them bullets right there from Kai. Hardy popping a Deddy, working his way around, trying to beat them to P3 through the Tiki Ooh. bar, but Hardy gets mowed down in a mag. Oh, gets a little revenge right there. Makes his way up the stairs as Magic Bot. And, oh, man, just about got there, but got taken down himself. Artie tossing a couple, na a Nate and a hello there. Into the hill right now, but it doesn't matter. 60, 50, 61, 56 in favor of the flopper. And it's all Minnesota on this hill. Slow Lord is holding it down. Magic Bot trying to take him off the hill. Failing to take him off the hill. But we're going to get ready to go very shortly with a 72, mm -hmm. 56 lead. As L.A. Dweebs, go ahead. But Boomer uh -oh. play over to P4 but gets mowed down. Trophy already down at P4 as we kick in there. 7261 in favor of the flopper. Yeah, Boomer had all of his teammates spawning out there, so it was a little bit of a tough spot where he picked up a kill on old but was traded. But all that's gonna do is give Dweebs the spawn for this hill, but it does seem like they got in on the inside track as the flopper, so getting some decent gunfights, able to hold some time on this hill, but it will be the dweebs using that spawn to use their pressure and get this back this hill. But as I say that, they flip the spawns one more time. So now Flopper are in, but 30 seconds left to be grabbed, and they are going to take it out. They're going to chow it out, and here we go. It'll be 25 more seconds, unless Meg can handle it, which he'll get two. This is a big deal, but can he get traded out here? No, maybe not. He's, there we go. There's the trade, but they spawn back in one more time. So it'll be the dweebs now trying to hit that rotation, but they'll get picked up on Roto, so... Looks like this last 15 seconds is going to go the way of the flopper, and they have two members on to next coffee. So flopper doing a lot of the extra moving soon, but it's dweebs who are kind of setting the pace. Yes, it is. As oh man, it a mag on trying to do something onto that P5 hill, but Magic Bot works his way up on the backside. Trophy going down for the LA dweebs. 97-73 in favor of the flopper. Bot watching the uh, watching up top both sides. Okay, all three sides. Makai coming down from the bridge. Say, hi, how you doing? Takes out both trophies and goes ahead. Sets up housekeeping for the Minnesota Flopper. 10680 in favor of Minnesota's ties. Hold oh, man, already got really taken down real quick. Air Fluff or ATR Fluffy. Fluffy working his way around. Oh, decides not to go that way. Got a few too many love taps. Gonna come from the other way. No, gets taken off from the bridge. 11881 in favor of Minnesota. As looks Low Lord is already set up, just about set up on P1 as they get ready to rotate real quick. Go ahead, give LAD the 
Scrap time, 120 to 90 in favor of the flopper. Yeah, this has been really back and forth. I mean, it's two down, two down. It's never four. It seems like no one's been able to get really too many consecutive 10, 20 seconds holds, really even. I mean, it's really only been 10 second holds as now another break coming in for the dweebs. It's been the flopper that if I think came out on the better end, I mean, obviously they're up in score, but it's just a couple better setups, I guess. But if really anybody's game to be taken still, if just the slang starts to go one way, which typically does start to, you know, come to form in the second half of these hard points as these teams learn each other and their tendencies. But as you see right now, it is the Dweebs holding on to the hill. It's going to have to be a break. It's a tough hill to get into once they've established control. So it seems like the Dweebs have done that. Maybe they pick up this belt flank. Yep, they will. So going to get 16 more seconds of this hill. And that's a late break. Arctic is to come in. But we are almost at directly a tie game through... I guess we were at six hard points now. Went through five, but the additional one again. So as we go on to this next P3, we are really only 10 points apart, Copy. This is anybody's game. Yeah, 20 point, 20 points separate as we go into this uh, P2 as Itmag, Itmag gets taken down. Kai set up behind the pallet there, 142-118 in favor of Minnesota. And the flopper is definitely holding on to this P2 hill right now. Oh, but turns around at the, at the uh, new shack and gets mowed down. A boomer, yeah, okay, boomer. Joku cost it, cost it a couple. They both get caught by trophies. Gonna go ahead and work, work the long flank, quick reload. I'm up top. Boomer, get okay, boomer. Uh, Fluffy on the piece okay, of the hill right now. 149, 140 in favor of uh, Minnesota. LAD is going to go ahead and tie this up because Mott is Magic Mott oh. is holding down the hill. We're going to go ahead and Shoku's going to take that back up. But Fluffy work his way through P1, trying to get a lead on the P3, and it just didn't work. 158, 146 is Minnesota's lead as we go into another P3. Just when you thought we were finally going to maybe get a dweeb lead or a dweeb tie in the game, just that late break from the flopper. I mean, this is a... I feel like we're just in the battle of kind of fundies versus just raw aggression. I don't know. The dweebs are just breaking and like just seem to be flying at them a bit more and here they've gotten a bit of a head start on this hill after their first break it will be the flopper that want to slow things down and get this team push in as we see three members coming out the restaurant one on the belt two through the front steps so like they're going to pick up one converge on the hill there'll be two two gets traded on either side but the back spawn will be the dweebs and it looks like they're going to clean up these kills guys the last one he's got to go massive here his position's found out he'll get traded out so all these magenta arrows now coming from the back but mind you they nobody was holding the back nobody anchored this Boomer is going to go down here. I guess they will be saved, but we did a lot of heavy lifting on these last two hills, and it looks like it's going to continue here having a good setup, but Kai and the guys are breaking in. There's three members close. They need this break now, or else the Dweebs can run away with this. As we go into this P4, 186-167, LA Dweebs, as Itamag works his way around, going to try to get into that P4, but he gets taken out quick, fast, and in a hurry. Kai. At the P4 stairs, catches one going up, working his way back around between around uh, P1, P2. A big nade. Here we go on the hill, holding it, trying to play catch up. Uh, oh man, if you if he would have proned out right there, he would have got him a few kills and held on to that hill for several several important seconds. As it's now 201, 178 in favor of LAD. There's another contest on, oh, it was a contest on the hard point, but Fluffy going to go ahead, get set up for P5. Big. Oh, man, tried to set up a trophy and got mowed down. Kai working his way around. Boomer just going to go ahead, take it easy right there. Here we go, first one of the night. Bringing in the cruise. Boomer getting some aim, going towards P5, come The next one yep. won. As Shoku works his way back up to that P5 bridge, tossing out a trophy. And here we go, 201, 206 in favor of LAD. Yeah, using that cruise, just trying to break in was was Boomer. And it seems like they've done that a little bit. It's anybody's bridge right now as they're pushing out. That's a big nade, team nade on the teammate. Unfortunately, not able to find the trade. Shoku's got to go big here. He finds the first, not going to be able to find another. So, unfortunately, this break from the flopper is delayed. Just an unfortunate team nade there. As now it is the dweebs climbing away. Kai's going to want to interrupt this. He's going to snap in, find the first. He's going to get looking here. He knows he needs to go massive for his team in this moment. 20 seconds. That reposition, though, from Fluffy will do the trick. That's another huge 15 seconds. He's going to get picked up off the hill, though. 
So this time he's going to go white for now, but they are fighting over this P1 restaurant. They recognize the importance of that scrap time. They're going to find it. So right now we have the dweebs who have a 20 seconds to win package in front of them. And they do have the restaurant right now, but Kai and friends are trying to break this as they push in. They're going to find it. Not going to get the pistol out in time. One last member of the flopper that's got to do this heavy lift. And no, he will go down. 10 seconds left. I don't know if they're going to get in, Coffee. It doesn't look like they are. 242, 201 in favor of LA Dweeb. Boomer working his way, trying to work his way around oh. to the back of P1. Unsuccessfully, but go ahead. Give it to the LA Dweebs. 250 to 201. Yeah, wow. What a back and forth Vista we just got. I mean, Vista never disappoints for a map one, I find. It's the perfect warm up map, and both these teams warming up for sure. I mean, Meg going 34 and 25, finding our last kill of the game. Don't have a whole lot of room to that next rotation, so. You get the kills with 10 seconds left, you usually get to the next hill too. But we're over it. Hopefully the flop are over it as well, as there's already been a first blood. So they're going to have to get over that as well, Coffee. Yep, it a bag drawing the, drew the first blood onto Boomer. Shoku is your bob carrier for the Minnesota flopper. And we're in, we're in Rio. Kai takes out Intermag, but gets taken out himself. Shoku up on top. Looks like he's going over onto that A side. Is, are we getting a plant? Yes, we are. It looks like very much. The bot okay. is planted at A. And, oh, wow. Uh, Magic bot is all that's left for either team. Quick, fast, easy defuse. LA Dweebs take it up one nut. Those those other members by the cop car, they didn't just trade, did they? It looked almost <laughs> kind of that all happened so quickly. It was hard to keep up with what was going on, but I they feel like they were in a 1v1 and then there was a 1v1 from Gradge onto the bomb guy so maybe he picked up both I, I'm not quite sure but either way it was a very quick round once things snapped into action the first blood happened before we were even done talking about the last round so these teams yeah. are chomping at the bit to get going in this one too as we're watching Artie is your bob carrier for the LA Dweebs looking from Shoku's point of view as Shoku gets set up in that back alley Ooh. Watch it over on that A side. Oh, man. As I'm looking at this right, uh, Shoku draws the first blood. The bomb is down. As uh, Intermag and Magic Bot are there just uh, panicking, scratching their heads, <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. Well, how are they going to defeat? Oh, here comes Boomer up from the back. Coming up uh... around. But the uh, flank tried. Flank failed. Shoku into a better spot. I drawing him out from P3. As Low Lord wow. comes in, gets mowed down. LA Dweebs take the round. They're up 2 0. That was a really good round out of the Dweebs. I mean, for the first blood going the way it did, and then, yeah, kind of freezing them up on that banana stand. Uh, these two players, Fluffy and the man, I don't know who the other one is there quite, but they played that uh, 2v2 very well. I mean, just playing on the back foot, knowing that you're kind of, your push is done for, make sure you try and kill them as they over push onto you. And just two great chows there from Fluffy. That was really good yeah. work out of him. He's on a three streak. We'll have to keep up with that. As a cruise can be kind of worth it on this map. It completely obviously yes, it is worth it. You can get it in the mall too. Oh, yeah. And Shoku is your bob carrier right now as we're watching from Fluffy's point of view. There's a hello there. Does it connect? Shoku working his way around towards that A bob site. He's giving some coverage over there at that cop car's boomer over at the, at the uh, LTV up on top. Guy. Magic Bot draws the first blood onto Shoku, so the bomb is down just outside of A, but Kai answered, Itamag is all that's left right now for the Minnesota Flopper. Boomer the bomb carrier, but Mag on the, on oh. the hill, trade out, <laughs> Minnesota off the donut. They're up 2-1. We're down 2-1. I'm a fan of the uh, energy these teams are bringing into each other right now. We are just getting chows, we're getting fights. Everybody is just firing oh. at each other. But again, another A push. This time I didn't working even out. see Low Lord in that corner. Yeah. I, there was two the other night, actually, where they uh, same kind of thing. Jumped over the guy twice in one uh, one hill. That was the hard point. But either way, it happened there again. Is now, yeah, we've seen the flopper there getting a successful A push in. It's going to go back to the dweebs now. What bomb will they look to go to? It looks like they're going to go a little bit more into that mall section. Try to sneak in here real quick with some bridge presence. These nades are going to come out, and that's going to be a quick trade on to Boomer. Yep, it a Magna Bob Carrier who draws trade. the first blood. Oh, now it's down to a 3v2 as Low Lord outside the mall. Just giving some cut, just trying to keep himself covered. Watching the, watching the skywalk. He knows there's one there. The bomb is planted at that B-Bob site. 
Are you going to catch him? No, oh, you can't wall bag the door. Dwight, L.A. Dweebs, take the round. They're up 3-1. These teams, I mean, we had this every night at the COD Rec League. Not that we don't. Everybody's usually coming out here wanting to perform on stream, but these guys right now, they just feel like they got a little extra of that 7 o'clock energy. I mean, whatever time you're viewing in, it's happy hour somewhere, but they are firing <laughs> at each other. Three to one for the dweebs. So here we go. Let's see how Minnesota answers on their offensive round. Looking from Low Lord's point of view. Here we go. Shoku, your bob carrier. Low, low, low Lord giving some coverage, taking the back way around onto that A side. Ty covering center court. He's the only one in the mall right now. Give it, oh, get a couple love taps there. Ty going to go ahead and set up on a corner. Both teams still a full strength. Magic Mott. Just, looks like he was just out. Yeah, he's over at the garage watching the A side from the. Oh, but he gets taken are. down. Mott taken down. Shoku drawing the first blood. Ty drawing the second. So now it's a four, a 3v2 because Boomer's out of commission. Shoku up by the hut, by the uh, tag vehicle, that ATV. And here we go. We're getting the bomb planted at A. Minnesota gets the plant. Boom. There we go. I should have worn my rocker oh, jersey my for this. Minnesota off the breadstick. They're still down, though. 3-2. So that round, they took a little more time to get kind of going, but once they got going, it got going, and Kai is one of the main perpetrators of that, finding three from these kind of stairs. They know he's here, too, and he dead don't matter. Kai is out here shooting. I think he's eight and three now, that said. I have to check in on there. his streak stat after those three kills, but really just dog performance out of the kid right now. He's just on the three. He must have died the round before, but now we go back to this offense. Dweebs did try out the middle of the mall last time to some success. Looks like they're going to try and do that again with a bit more of a presence maybe to the bridge. Only one man going out there, actually. But you kind of hop, skip oh, over. You can get man. over there pretty quick, but that nade is going to do some damage, slow them up. But they have taken over this middle, and they're pushing out now. I will see this is going to get bloody quick. There's the first Ooh. trade coming down. See if Kai wants to get in and make the turn the tides. He's going to find one back. He's going to look for a second. Got to load the gun. Not going to find it, as now it is a 3v1. It is down to low lord. Low lord's all that's oh. left. Oh, man, but Lolord is not able to pull off the miracle. L.A. Dweebs jump ahead 4-2. Yeah, I mean, again, they kind of overpushed out of that bomb, and Kai was trying to make a response, found one, but was not able to find the second. And so I love that aggression out of the Dweebs. When you hit this A site right, you really want to get in there, take it over. Once you know you got the numbers in, you can start to look at some of these overchilds because then they just you just kind of are on the back foot if you're the other team. You don't know to play it like a heady or play it like they're pushing. So a good job out of the dweebs capitalizing on that. It is now four to two as we look towards another flopper attack. Here we go. Shoku's your bomb carrier as we look from Fluffy's point of view. Nate goes out. Does it connect? No, it doesn't. But, oh, man. Boomer drawing the first blood on the Fluffy on that B side. It is now a 4v2 because Artie's taken down also. Itamag trying to work his way around on that A side. Oh, man, sees the bomb carrier. Bob is down above A. Three on two. Boomer, being cautious. BDS walking. Wall banging the door. He gets a couple love taps, so they know there is somebody over on that A side. Bot comes out, watches the boxes. Trophy already out. Kai. Oh, man, but Kai gets taken down at P3. Wow. Boomer. Now it's Low Lord. He's all that's left. He's got the bomb. 1v1. Excuse me. Magic Bot versus Low Lord. Here we go. The bomb getting planted at B just to get some more time. Cat and mouse going on right now. Who will be the cat? Who will be the mouse? It seems like Low Lord's the oh, cat. Is found him, shot him. Got taken down. So now Mott has to come over and get the defuse, which he will with more time than common sense. L.A. Dweebs take the round. They're up 5-2. Yeah, what a massive swing round there. There's the, the mouse that was Mott became the cat. I mean, turning that around, a really nice gunfight out of him. And it's just going to end up being kind of the dagger. Obviously, we're not yeah. done yet. but Hunter became the hunted. Keep them at four, right? It is, always feels a lot more doable. Four, three, completely worlds apart from five to two, but... Obviously, it's not over yet. We've seen some great rounds out of the flopper. I think they can still do this, but 
Obviously, the Dweebs now on match point. We look to them on their offense. They've been liking this B-bomb. Looks like they're going to go there again. Here we go. In a Magna Bob Carrier, nade going out. Does it connect? No, it doesn't, but bullets are coming his way. Couple love taps as Kai draws the first blood, and it's a, a three on two right now. Low Lord working his way around. He's upstairs. Nade, connect. No, but the bullet, does. yeah. Something connected because Minnesota ju just caught one, and they're now, they're still down five to three. I swear we went from four members to zero in, in like a second there. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I blanked on it, but Choku find the last one anyway. That's a, a needed round from Flopper. We're still on match point, obviously. 5-3 now in place. Not the curse as we know it, but either way, can maybe that's the motivation you give your team. You give them the fake curse talk anyway, but Flopper been struggling on their offenses, really. They've been pretty decent on their defenses. It's just that they can't really get into that A-bomb clean enough. And I don't know about their B pushes, but we're going to see one here. Yep, we're going to see that as Mag goes uh, into the garage. Shoku, your bomb carrier. Whoop, couple accidental discharge. Boomer drawing the first blood on the Intermag. Low Lord, thrown out there at center court. By the, by the B bomb. We're going to go ahead and go to the, cat, to the catwalk. Shoku. Gets a whole bunch of love taps, but somebody finishes the job there at the site. Uh, let's see who took him out. Oh. Artie took him. Looks like Artie did, but got traded out. Low Lord. Whoa. Wow. Oh, man. L.A. Dweebs, take it. Takes the Six, three. three. Wow, what a, that was unfortunate timing there for Low Lord. He would have just ran right by him. He's going to see it here, I think, on the final kill cam. Like, oh, my goodness gracious. And just oh, catches man. him on the Came bottom. Up behind him. Yeah, yeah. We all know the most of the fights are going to be on that B side. And as the everything is, uh, speaking of flopped, everything's flopped over. Magic Mai in purple. But we know he's supposed to be in red. Shoku draw the first blood. As Mott working his way, it uh, looks like he's up on top of that B bomb site for sure. But you have Minnesota already on that A side. One ticket A for the Minnesota flopper. Ignore what your screen is saying. Well, uh, there is a full stack at the A side. Word to Jim. Joku working his way around. Cleaning things off real quick. Oh man, just tried to mow down, but he gets taken out. Fluffy's on the A side, killing off uh, everything after that second full tick of progression. Now Low Lord working his way into the diner. We're starting the B side. Show two and Low Lord, small stack on that B side. Word to Jim's. One ticket B for the Minnesota Flopper. And here we go. Tick and a half, two ticks at B. We have a full stack. Two and a half. I thought there was no. Oh, there we go. Damn. Came in. <laughs> I don't. Bunch of trades going Bunch through. Goku worked his way around the into the bus. The B point is taken care of. We do have another minute to play with. Yeah, and they're just feeling it out now. They're trying to find this pressure. You got to get ahead of the chains, right? If you are on that dweeb side, because once they have this, it is just tough to get them out of the square you kind of got to hold that top church side you got to get bodies in the top three and top fire it's just it's a tougher hold than the uh, the diners but once the diner's gone it's often a tough time for the defending team but if it keeps laying out it can be doable but they are doing right now that have been a big kill there but it is going to be kai finding that one this could be the opener they need everybody's going to snap into action Luffy going to get picked up here in the outside too so Lillard finds another that's two bodies out of the point they just got to find this man on the hill. Now he's going to get shot out. That'll be the fourth one down. Surely they jump in now. Shoku going to get his way back, but they, they, all those kills come through. It's going to be hard to make it back, and that will be our round. Minnesota finding the first round. 1-0. And we, you, we both know that control is a very defense-oriented game mode, but when you get an offensive win like this, taking both hills, quick, fast, in a pot, in a hurry. Yeah, it can be tough. It can be tough. I mean, like, this is what we were looking for, right, for the dweebs was, uh, well, sorry, I was saying for the dweebs, but it's the flopper who ended up doing it. They got that first offense, right? And this is how you get the reverse sweep going. You want to right away 
get in there, hit that offense quick. And I mean, in the lower division stuff, the pros, they can make it look like it's a defensive map at times, but anything but that, I think Karachi, you're not even really too bad of a boat when you're on offense, but let's see if that is the case now for the Dweeb who will be on offense. As we roll in, this is they're going to find those first kills, but they do need to hold this setup now. If they're going to hold this completely out, I don't know if that will be doable as you typically find the break. But any of these lives that are spent now make it really tough, I mean, because you end up needing those lives when you do finally get towards the diner. So this is not the exact start you want from the blocker. I mean, one more kill for our man Shoku, and he'll be have the cruise missile. Starting this one off 10 and 2 is exactly how you want to do it. They snap in. Shoku not going to find it there, though, and a teammate going to come in, so... Maybe this will give them the proxy to get onto this control. Here we go. There's Meg. They're on to the hill now. Here we now. go. It's ball stack at A. We're in the gym. Two ticks at A for the LA Dweebs. We're going to go ahead and clean off that, the rest of that A point. So the A side is taken care of. We have another minute to play with. It's Minis no, Minnesota didn't take it. That was all LA Dweeb as Itamag works his way through the back alley through that P4 side. Now, those now it's going to be fun. We're going to the diner. P2 already a small stack over at B. We're to Jim. Ty working his way through the, from the dumpster, covering the alley. There is a two and a half picks right now at B right now. Small stack on B. We're to Jim. They were, oh, but the test. There's more of Uber them. There's more. In, trying to clean house. He's successful. He's going to go ahead and clean off over half a tick of progression. Fluffy going to go ahead, kick the door in, finish the capture on that B side. There, oh, contest at the end, Low Lord. There's the trophy. The so Low Lord is actually waiting it again. Enter bag on the five spree. There we go. Now we have a full stack on B. Words of Jim's. It LA three. Tie it up. What a piece. Yep, yeah, yeah, well, they had that good hold off the start if you were the flopper, but it was just, uh, you know, once you got broke there, they happened to get that A control pretty quick, and then that Im it's usually that immediate push after you get A that's got, like, kind of a higher odds of putting you in a good seat right because there's a couple guys you're not sure what route they took to the next hill, um, but the right ones they took as they kind of, you know, they didn't get it on that very first push, but they always had that pressure, and then, of course, they ended up finishing out the offense. So two offenses to start, Coffee. This is kind of what we thought was possible on this Karachi, and it yep. is giving us a show. Yes, it is. It's giving us a hell of a show as we're watching from Boomer's point of view, working his way through P5 right now. And we have Shoku on the hill for Minnesota. Shoku walks to the hello there, doesn't connect, though, but already drawn to first blood. Already draw, already connect. Hi, trying to, trying to do some house cleaning unsuccessfully. A low lord on that A hill. There we go. But Fluffy on a five. That five three went pretty quick. Not trying to make a difference. Not able to do any house cleaning. A Shoku goes ahead, starts that A capture again for the and low lord already there. One ticket A. So that's it so far. Just one ticket progression in this round. Both teams are just going to town. Minnesota is only down two lives, but they are up one tick. And here they go to B. They're going to look to try and get this. They need to find this kill in the Mott with no problems, but that ain't going to be the case. He's going to go down right away. So Mott now just being a thorn in the side, and this could be the start to a spawn trap. It's that number two player in Kai. we got to see if he can get out towards this B. Point. I'm flipping it around. Maybe. I know they're going to come back, and they're going to make sure they get the kill. I like that. They get their guys out of the spawn now, and now they can head over to this B point. Very smart Akai and the guys to support their teammates like that, but they will be a little slower now to hit out this diner, but it's like they're not really too worried about the speed of hitting it out, but they just want to know when they get there, they have everybody in front of them. So good job by them, but a two for two right away. They need to find these kills. This will be their last push if they don't. So already going to get in. He's going to sneak in, and that will is a big kill, and he's going to switch to the sidearm and find it. So 10 seconds left, but the flopper with that pressure will get onto the eight point, but... They need to be find these kills here, Kyle, if you're else they can yeah, still they lose do. this. They've only got I 10. Mean, only have 10 seconds left in this round, and if I remember right, Artie does have a cruise in his back pocket. Mott coming uh -oh. in, doing a little house cleaning, but, oh man, he, here we you're gonna go. You're going to get to B. Look at those spawns to B. Here we go. One second left in this round. 
Joku holding down the B side. Uh -oh. Here we go. One ticket B with two uh -oh. ticks in A right now. Are we going to be able to do this? Joku, trophy going out. Watching the alley. Watching red. Boomer on a five three. That B point is taken care of. We have another minute to play with. Boomer, boomer, boomer. And the kaboom will miss, it sounds like. So all the pressure now back onto the dweebs as they find the connect there if you are the flopper. They don't have a whole lot of lives, but they won't need that many. If they can find this kill with no problems, they will. He'll get traded, though. So now all those members back. It's going to be number three. We're going to need Shoku to find some pressure for these flopper members because everybody knows they're spawning in the back. They'll be looking at this deep mid spot. This is a big fight as well, and he's going to find that. So... Shoku's got to find some pressure relief for them as they are losing all the fights in their spawn. Only three members alive. Shoku and the guys that are alive need to find something. They're not going to. Two members left. Oh, and there will be one now only. So this is a 1v11. I don't think he's got it in them. It will be two ticks onto A, three onto B. But the defense ends up holding true for the dweebs. That is what they needed. So maybe they can win it on this offense here now, Copy. Hopefully. No. Um, yeah, as we watch that final kill there, this match point right here, this could do it for the LA Dweeb for tonight. Who won? Favor of the Dweebs on this control. LA on the offense, Minnesota on the defense. Here we go. Look for mid or max point of view right now. Making his way up, making his way up top. Get some high ground. Hopefully be able to do some house cleaning. There we go. Intermag drawing the first blood, but he gets a quick hello there. As there is a, right now one ticket A for the LA Dweeb. With a small stack on that A point. Word to Jim's two ticks today. So Minnesota or LA is going to go ahead, kill off that A point, and give us another minute to play with already. Yeah, but I think it is a little bit more of that concentrated effort from the flopper, knowing that they absolutely have to defend B. They have to win this round to extend this series. So giving a little bit less pressure onto that A point can respect that, but that does mean now you must hold this setup. And they've got players in the right position. You just need to find these first kills right now. And not going to find it on that one. There's two more. Bodies to find. They've got to find a couple of these trades. Shoku gets one. Going to find a second. He will get traded out, though. The numbers are dwindling. Gonna have to find Fluffy and some of these other members, or else this is gonna get scary quick. Ooh, that's Fluffy in the back of the diner. He got, he gets one real quick. As there was, some, oh man! As Fluffy gets taken out, by, as Shoku comes in, cleans out the uh, diner, but it doesn't matter. Ty in there right now, making sure nobody uh purple comes through. Fluffy, oh man, gets closed down just outside the back door. Magic bot at the back of the bus. He tries to do some house cleaning. Minnesota is just bringing the defense with them this round. As we got a minute 19 left. Only three ticks for LA Dweeb. And that's, it's game over. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right now, Fluffy's on that B hill. Intermag joins him. Oh, we have a complete stack on that B point. We're in the gym. One that's tick at B. They're going to have two ticks at B. Down to a small stack. We're, oh man, get mowed down off the dumpster. Two and seven, eight, six, give it to LA Dweeb. They're going to end it. That's going to be Kills the it. three to one. Three to one. That'll be the 3 0 in the series. I mean, just just again, another close map, right? Where you didn't think the flopper were out of it, didn't look out of the league at all. They just 